Arch Linux is one of the most popular and most widely appreciated Linux distros among power users and enthusiasts in general. It's based on the principles of the so-called Arch way. Simplicity, modernity, pragmatism, user centrality and versatility are the five commandments that Arch Linux follows. Maybe better summarized in the popular acronym KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. I use Arch myself as my distribution of choice. Well, after the Ubuntu phase. I've been using it for about two years now and today I want to share with you why it's so great with my personal top five Arch Linux features. So with no further ado, let's get into it. Number five, customizable. This is one of the main things with Linux in general. Getting your very own experience is important, but not all distros offer you the same experience Arch does. From the very beginning, the installation, you get nothing more than a simple command line. You get to install just the software you want. Moreover, unlike other distros, Arch isn't built around a specific desktop environment. Either you want to use KDE or GNOME or something more simple like Window Manager, you have the choice from the very beginning. If you want to build your experience, no matter what you like, Arch will deliver. Number 4. Bleeding Edge On Arch, you will always find the latest version of whatever software you use. Let's take GNOME as an example. The current stable version is 3.16 and you'll find it in Arch repos. But the current Ubuntu version, the 15.04, still uses GNOME 3.14. Now, in October, GNOME is releasing version 3.18 and Arch users will likely get it as soon as possible. But the plans for Ubuntu 15.10, releasing, well, in October as well, include GNOME version 3.16. And this doesn't just happen for desktop environments, but for other more important things. On Arch, you always have the latest kernel, drivers, and any other software you may possibly use. Many argue that living on the bleeding edge means sacrificing stability, but it's not true. As with other distros, Arch packages are tested in the unstable repositories before they get to the stable ones. Do I look like someone who uses unstable software? I mean, come on. Number 3. AUR Let's examine a common scenario. You're looking for some obscure software in your repositories, but you can't find it. Well, if the chances are good, you will find a pre-compiled deb or RPM package to install manually in your system, but this method is particularly flawed. You will need to update it to new versions manually, going to the website and downloading a new package every once in a while. But you may not be so lucky and in some cases you will have to compile the software yourself. Well, it's not always difficult, but sometimes you can bump into some obscure compilation problems and errors and at the end of the day you will just probably give up. Well, guess what? This is a lot less likely to happen in Arch, thanks to the Arch user repository known also as AUR. It's a massive user-maintained repository that contains practically every software you may want to use. Using it is dirt simple thanks to the front-ends like Yard and Packer, but using it manually is not any more difficult. The advantage of using something like Yard is that you can search through the AUR directly from your terminal, and you can even update its packages along with ordinary ones by just running Yard S Y U A. Well. To me, this is a killer feature. Number 2. Rolling release. The great part of operating systems tend to release different versions of the years. Windows has XP, Vista 7 and so on, Ubuntu has 14.04, 14.10, 15.04 etc, but Arch doesn't. It's got just one version and it gets updated with the latest software as soon as it's ready keeping the system always safe and up to date and avoiding the cumbersome procedure of upgrading. Number 1. The community. Every Linux distro is built around people, but with Arch, community is its biggest strength. From the forums to the IRC channels to the wiki and even AUR, it's all community driven. The wiki in particular is incredible. It's detailed, precise and has all the information you will want to know about Arch Linux and Linux in general. Even in the old Ubuntu days, I stumbled upon the Arch Wiki many times and it was far more useful than the Ubuntu Wiki. And if you need support, the forums and IRC channel are great places to solve your problems. So guys, this is gonna wrap up this video, thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up button and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. 
Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.